Welcome to Building Blocks with the Dukes of Dice. Let's say you want to teach a non-gamer Dead of Winter, a meta cooperative game where most players are working to achieve a shared goal, along with secret individual goals. But among them, there could be a hidden trader who is seeking to undermine the group objective. This hidden team mechanic, or maybe genre, creates suspicion, paranoia, and a lot of finger pointing. Before you have a new gamer invest in a two hour or more game steeped in tension and distrust, you might want to introduce them to a shorter experience that strips away the more complex mechanics of a game like Dead of Winter or Battlestar Galactic and distills the hidden team experience to its very essence. There are several skills a player can learn in a simpler hidden team game. For example, if you're one of the players actually trying to achieve the main objective, then you have to learn to deduce other players' allegiances based on actions they take. If you're one of the traitors, you have to learn how to undermine the group while maintaining your cover, and even how to cast doubt on other players. Playing as either allegiance can be stressful for many players, and if a player doesn't understand fully how to play, they can wind up ruining the experience for everyone. In order to ease a player into the tension and skill sets needed for hidden team games, we recommend games like One Night Ultimate Werewolf, Saboteur, but most importantly, the original Resistance or Resistance Avalon. In the Resistance, the majority of players are resistance members and the minority are spies for the totalitarian government. After teams are secretly assigned, the spies will secretly reveal themselves to one another during an eyes closed period. The goal is for each team to accomplish three of five missions. Rotating leaders will place a variable number of players on a mission and the group will vote for or against the team. Once that team's approved by the majority, They'll go on the mission. Resistance members on the mission will secretly play a success card, while spies on the mission will secretly play their choice of a success or fail card. Those played cards are shuffled, so no one knows who played what. No fails, and the resistance gets the point. At least one fail, and the spies get the point. The resistance is a ton of fun, allowing resistance members to make educated deductions with imperfect information, and allowing spies to sow distrust and discord among the entire group. Dead of Winter is chock full of those same feelings of dread and distrust, but with a whole lot more mechanics and game built on top. Before a new player invests a lot of time in a more complicated game like Dead of Winter, find out if they like the hidden team experience first.